All right, so, well, hello again. <laughs> Do you remember me? I certainly, uh, I certainly hope so. You know, I think to say that it's been a while would be a, a, a bit of an understatement. And uh, I've been, um, not only have I been, you know, racking my brain as to what I was going to say in this, uh, in this video for the last several days, but uh, I've been uh, patiently waiting to uh, to do this this video, and you know I I want to I want to spend just a few few uh, moments and give you some background into what into what it went into uh, thinking of of doing this video again and and kind of talking a little bit about my absence over the last uh, over the last few months and as I recall the last time I did a video I was saying goodbye to my dad and uh, putting him on a plane to go back to Cleveland. And you all remember my dad, right? So I was putting uh, my dad on a plane back to Cleveland, and I myself was getting on a plane and going to Kauai, Hawaii. And, uh, you know, I had every intention when I was getting on that plane uh, to, to bring you along and, and, and take you over to Kauai and, and all that type of stuff. But um, as I sat on that plane going over there, I, I had a lot of time to think, you know. And uh, there I go with the, you know, you know, some things might never change, you know, that you, you know, you know, so that, that, that hasn't changed. But uh, I had a lot of time to think, and as I was sitting there on that plane thinking, um, I found myself, you know, going through, through my mind thinking about a few things. One, one of which was, you know, responsibility. Another was, was motivation, you know, what, 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 what is, what was my, as, as I thought about doing these videos, uh, you know, what was my, what was my underlying motivation? What was my, what was my, uh, you know, where were my responsibilities and, and all that type of stuff. So, to, uh, to elaborate a little bit on that, you know, I, I, I think that, um, I should share this with you. Doing videos, the majority of you watching these videos, uh, doing videos, um, it can be challenging. It's challenging to sit in front of a camera like I'm doing here and to just talk. The majority of you out there would probably say that you don't have any desire to do it, you know, but then there's probably a, a good majority of you out there that probably admire uh, my ability or, or, or willingness, if you want to call it that, to, to sit in front of a camera such as I am here and just kind of uh, spilling my <laughs> spilling my beans, so to speak. Um, but uh, but anyway, so as I sat there on the plane, I thought to myself, you know, I need a break. I need a break from the whole from the whole video thing because it's just too. Uh, it was just too emotionally draining, you know. You, 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 and and uh, when I say emotionally draining. Um, and, and that'll tie into the, uh, to the responsibility. Um, you know, I've got, a, uh, I've got an incredible business. I, I run an incredible business. I'm so fortunate to, uh, to have, have the business that, I, that I've worked hard for. And, uh, and, and I've got a responsibility to myself, and I've got a responsibility to my clients um, to give it all that I've got. And what I was finding was that the, the, doing the videos, it was so emotionally draining. And, uh, and, and it was taking away from my ability to give 100% to, to my business. And, and for that reason, that's kind of why I just stepped away from, uh, from the videos. And, um, and I, I don't know whether or not I would say that I'm back. Uh, that remains to be seen, but um, but I, I felt that there, you know, maybe there was some clarification because I know, I know that when somebody becomes such a part of your life, such as I did probably to a lot of people that watch these videos, and my dad did uh, for that matter, I know that when that, that's gone, that's turned off, that that, that can be a real, uh, a real disappointment, a real challenge for some people. <laughs> It was probably anything but a disappointment, you know, that I stopped doing videos. But, uh, but anyway, so, you know, as far as the, uh, the responsibility to myself and, and, and to my clients, etc., I just wanted to take a break. I just needed, I needed a break from the videos. 
And as far as the motivation goes, you know, the, the motivation, the motivation with the videos, uh, for 99% for of all my motiva motivating uh, factors, if you will, are really good, good uh, motivations. Um, you know, when I started traveling uh, some years ago, I, uh, when I started traveling some years ago, I did so uh, back in a time when the internet was just starting out. And I also did so at a time in my life where I never dreamed that I would go to the places that I, that, you know, that, that my travels would take me and, and experience the things that I would experience or uh, meet the people that I would meet. Never in my wildest dreams growing up uh, in, in uh, Euclid, Ohio, did I ever think that I would uh, get to those places and do those things. And as I started to travel and, and as I started to experience and, and, and doors started to open for me, I, I wanted to share it. I wanted to share the excitement. And while some people might see that as boasting or, or bragging or something like that, for me, it was just pure excitement. It was joy. And, and I wanted to share that. Much as, you know, when something good happens to you, don't you pick up the phone and say, you're not going to believe what happened, you know? So, uh, so that, you know, that, that's, that was the motivation of, of, of kind of what got me into doing, doing the videos. And, uh, you know, as far as, you know, the motivation of sharing my dad, you know, my dad is such a wonderful man. He is a, uh, he, he, I, I can't even think of, of, of enough positive things to say about my father. And the ability to share my dad with, with so many people was, uh, was so incredibly wonderful. So, uh, you know, so that was the, um, you know, those were part of the motivations. And then, you know, I, I got to be honest in saying that there were, there were some motivations that were less than healthy. And, uh, and, and you know, over the, over the course of my lifetime, as, as things come into my life that I view and, and perceive and recognize as being unhealthy, I, I strive and I, I, I work really hard to, to identify them and, and eliminate them. So, uh, you know, I'm certainly not perfect. And I look back over the uh, course of the last... Uh, the last several months and, and doing the videos and I recognized that I, I didn't always make the best choice. I didn't always say the right thing, um, you know, and, uh, and, um, and it, it, I guess as the saying goes, it is what it is, you know, you, you, you learn to, um, you learn not only to be forgiving of others, but you learn to be forgiving of yourself. So my motivations in doing the videos, you know, as I sat there on that plane going over to, uh, to Kauai, my motivations were not always uh, 100% um, for the good. Uh, let's just say, let's just leave it at that. And, uh, and in doing so, I, uh, I, um, I just decided to, to step back from the videos. And then the other thing was, you know, as far as the, the, the re responsibility and, and the distraction that the videos would present. I had to focus on something else, not only my business, and uh, I had to focus on my health. You know, I had to, to really pay attention to my health and, 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 and focus on my health. Um, so uh, so that, that explains a lot of why I've been, uh, why I've been absent. So, and a couple other things. Um, some exciting stuff has happened. Uh, since I stopped doing videos, some really exciting stuff. You know, I live here in a community in, in Fort Myers, Florida called Paseo. P-A-S-E-O. Paseo. Paseo. So I joined the communication committee. They have a communication committee. The, the board of directors, there's about 1,100 homes here, about 3,000 residents. So the board of directors formed a communication committee. And the communication committee was going to take on different... Uh, different aspects of the communication dynamics of the community. The newsletter, for example, doing surveys, and one of the things was the website. So I joined and I, I wanted to, uh, to, to offer my expertise in, in web design. And as I was on the flight coming back from, from Kauai, and I was thinking about it, I was coming back to my first meeting for the uh, communication committee, and in doing so, 
I, I, I sat there at an airport and I typed into Google Paseo for Myers. And I, what I saw was everything but our community. Meaning I saw real estate companies, I saw the developer, I saw everybody at the top of Google except us. And I thought something's wrong with this. So I went to the com first uh, communication committee uh, meeting and I said, listen folks, I said, you all know that I do websites. I said, and websites is, is on our agenda to, to look at. I said, we shouldn't be focused on our website. We should be focused on our web presence. We should be focused on the, the image that we're sending out to potential people that are going to buy here, potential people that are going to rent here, potential people that are going to visit here. We need to brand our community. We need to take control of our web presence. And fortunately enough, the, the individuals on the committee embraced this idea. And, uh, and as the whole thing evolved, we, we came up to the concept of we were going to brand ourselves with My Paseo Life. L-I-F-E. My Paseo Life. What does my Paseo, what does your Paseo Life mean to you? You know, so our Paseo Life is incredible. My Paseo Life is really special. So we went out and we bought a domain name. <laughs> and I, I told them, I said, we need a new website. Because the website that, uh, that, that is currently being used by this community isn't owned by the community. I said, we don't own this website. The management company owns the website. If we build up a web presence and the management company leaves or we fire them, they take the website. I said, we need a website that is not only beautiful, but we need a website that we own, that's owned by the community. And I said, I just have, I have a great idea. So anyway, without going into a lot of detail, basically what I've been doing for the last four weeks is I've taken the website that I was doing for the auto repair shops and I merged it with another website, a beautiful website. And the end result is just spectacular. Well, I'll let you be the judge whether it's spectacular or not. But the long story short is, or the long, the long story short is that the board is going to buy this website. So the board's buying the website from me, and not only that, is I have a template. You know, this management company manages co uh, properties in in Florida, in New York, in the Bahamas. They got about 300 properties. They're charging each property $300 per month. So Scott Abbott up there in uh, the Detroit area, do the math, okay, pull out your calculator. 300 times 300 equals, I don't know, what is that, $90,000 a month is, is what they're making. So anyway, I've, I've been working really hard with, uh, with Joanna and, uh, over in Poland, and we, we've been uh, spending the last month working on a new website. Now, it's not online yet, but I'm going to show it to you. So what you're going to want to do, well, let, let's just do the whole unveiling right here, okay? Ta-da! There it is, folks. MyPaseo.life. So if you want to see this website, you're going to go to www.mypaseo.life. Not .com, .life. MyPaseo.life. And then to see the whole website, you're going to add a, fo a forward slash and type in the word preview, P-R-E-V-I-E-W. So mypaseo.life slash preview. And go check it out. It is really a beautiful, beautiful uh, website. And you scroll down and there's one of our residents there and, and it's got some really nice features. But anyway, so this is the website and we've got a beautiful resident portal where you can log in and pay your bills and all that kind of stuff. So I've been working on this and uh, that's taken all my concentration. So anyway, um, to bring you up to speed on a couple other things, Little Buddy. Little Buddy is the, uh, the joy, pride and joy of the family that I gave him to. Little Buddy is just so loved and uh, they call him Buddy Bear. You know, that's his name, Buddy Bear. And he, he gets in the RV with them and he goes on trips and and he's, he, his, the little girl, the, she's probably 12 years old now, they live in a neighborhood and everybody loves Buddy, you know. So, so you know, 
it was tough giving Buddy away, and I didn't make the wisest decision in getting a little dog, but in the end, it all worked out, you know. Uh, you know, as far as my dad, I wish I had some, uh, I wish I had some really great news to share about my dad, but um, unfortunately, my dad finds himself, uh, albeit temporarily, my dad finds himself in a, uh, in a nursing home, in a rehabilitation center, and uh, it, I say temporarily because he is going, he's going home. It's not a permanent situation, fortunately. So my dad finds himself uh, in, a, uh, in a nursing home um, up, in, up in the Cleveland area, and you could almost call it a rehabilitation uh, facility. So he's in this uh, facility up there, and he's going to be in there. He's been in there for three or four weeks now, and he's going to be in there probably another two weeks and uh, maybe longer, I don't know, two or three weeks. But um, his spirits are good, and uh, his spirits are good. I try to call him uh, most every day. And, you know, as a matter of fact, I'll try to call him here in just a moment. But, uh, you know, I would really appreciate it if some of you out there might send him a card, like a Get Well card or a Father's Day card. And the address, I don't know if you can see this or not, but you're going to send it to the Hanna House, H-A-N-N-A-H, -H. okay, are you writing that down, Angela and Melissa, okay, H-A-N-N-A-H, -H, House, Hanna House, and then you're going to send it to attention, Ernie Hall, H-A-L-L, -L, of course, Ernie Hall, room 226, okay, so it's the Hanna House, room 226, Ernie Hall, and the address is sim quite simple. It's 11100 Euclid Avenue. Euclid is in the mathematician, E-U-C-L-I-D. So 11100 Euclid Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44106. So again, Hannah House, Ernie Hall, room 226, 11100 Euclid Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44106. So you know what? I know that my dad would just be tickled pink if there were some uh, cards that came his way from some people wishing him well. And I don't know if I can. I'm going to give him a, I'm going to try to give him a call. I don't know if he'll answer it or not, but we can certainly, uh, we can certainly see. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Let's see. I sent him a package yesterday of some books for Father's Day. Hello? Hi, Dad. It's Tommy. Tommy, you're traveling today. Yes, I am. I'm traveling. Yeah. Uh, you, I'm waiting for those four books. Is that like a Father's Day gift? Yeah, it's a Father's Day gift. Maybe you'll get them today. Yeah, right. So how are you doing? I'm good. I'm talking to the people on the computer. You're talking to the people on the computer? Yeah, do you want to do you want to say hi to them? Sure. Uh, my love to everybody. Uh, the weather's nice. Uh, Tom is wonderful and he's going to Budapest. <laughs> That'll uh, be nice. Maybe you can watch his place for him. Okay, sounds good. I'll call you later. I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Okay, I'll look for the books. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, bye. All right, so isn't that wonderful that I was able to, uh, to get my dad on the phone? But anyway, so that's about it. And you know, my dad, uh, he alluded to something else. That's right. I am getting on a plane. At uh, 4.45 this afternoon, I am getting on a plane and I am headed to, uh, I'm, I'm headed home in many ways. I'm headed back to Budapest. I'm going to Budapest, Hungary. At 4.45 this afternoon on Air Berlin out of Fort Myers, I land in Dusseldorf at 7 in the morning, catch a connecting flight over to Berlin. I've got a five-hour layover in Berlin. I'm catching the subway over to uh, the city center in Berlin and having lunch with a, with a friend of mine. And then in the evening, I'm catching a, catching a flight and, and arriving in Budapest. Budapest! I'm arriving in Budapest 
at 6.30 at night on Friday night and uh, my bags are packed and if I seem excited, it's because I am. I am so, I am so goddamn excited to be going back to, uh, to Budapest, the, the, land of, uh, the land of goulash and, and, and uh, wonderful gypsy music and, and, uh, and just walking on the Danube at night, you know, walking the Danube, walking the Danube, whether it's day or night, but particularly walking the Danube at night is, is magical, absolutely magical. So I am going back to, uh, to Budapest and I've got a new toy. I'm taking a new toy with me. And let me show it to you, if I may. So this right here, uh, this is my latest. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing working. So this right here is what's called a gimbal. It's a gimbal. This thing right here cost me probably the better part of uh, just under $1,000. And you think, what the hell is this, Tom? Well, you know, when you do a video and you're walking down the street, your hand is kind of shaking, you know? And then you upload it to video, uh, upload it to YouTube, and they say, oh, we detected your video shaky. Do we want it? You want us to fix it? Well, with this thing here, this is kind of like a handheld drone. So, with the push of a button, you see right now it's just kind of like this, but with the push of a button, watch this. It wakes up and it comes to attention. You see that? So now, when I'm walking around, I can do all kinds of stuff. I can go like this. I can run with it. I can run down the street, being chased by, you know, whoever, and I can be filming. Alternatively, I can come in here, and if I push the mode button three times, one, two, three, it turns around and it starts filming me. So I can be walking down the street, talking, and then I can push the button three times more, one, two, three, and it turns back around, and I don't miss a beat. So anyway, that's about it, folks. So, uh, you know, I hope that, um, I hope that all of you are, are doing well as, as well. Um, you know, a lot of you have friended me on Facebook, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting on the fence as to whether or not I'm going to do the videos with my, uh, what do they call it, a monologue, so to speak. I'm thinking of doing Facebook Live. I'm thinking of doing Facebook Live and, and, and use it, keeping YouTube because of the monetization of the videos where I can monetize the videos. I'm thinking of keeping YouTube for what it is, uh, just a, a place to upload my travel videos and share my travel videos. And I'm thinking of Facebook more for my, my monologue, my, my online diary, if you will, of, of just sharing my thoughts about, uh, sharing my thoughts about about life and, 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 and what have you. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well again and uh, have a great day and um, it's nice seeing you again. <laughs> All right, take, uh, take care. Okay, bye-bye.